So Mama Marlena had five gorgeous kittens. There's Mama Marlena. She's so sweet and friendly. So we have two boys and three girls. This is one of the boys here. He's kind of a light, lighter brown tabby. Yes. And then the other boy is the black and white tuxedo right there. Hi, look at their faces. Cute. That is Agnes right here, the uh, tabby tuxedo. So she's a tabby with the white markings. And that is, um, wait a minute, that's Agnes. So that's Edith. That's Edith over there. She's like, she's a, um, so you can see the difference in their colors even. She's a lot darker than he is. That's how I can tell them apart. So that's Edith. That is um, uh, Gru. These are the minions. These are the minions. So that's Gru. Gru, Drew are the two boys. Then the three girls, Agnes, Edith, and Margo. Where's Margo? Where's Margo? Get Margo. Margo is solid black like her mom. Isn't she cute? Here, little Margo. Hi, little Margo. Hi, little, little Gru. <laughs> and then there's Mama. Oh, look how cute, butt to butt. <laughs> and Marlena, their mom, is very social. Look at those golden eyes. We'll do a separate, look at how his tail is wrapped around. Look at how beautiful she is. <gasps> oh my gosh. So she's super friendly and social. The kittens are a little on the shy side, but they're coming around. They've only been here about a week or so, and they're, he's probably the most outgoing little um, Gru. <laughs> um, and then this one's, actually the boys are probably the most outgoing out of them, but that could change. I mean, they just, you know, like I said, they're, you know, they, I don't, I'm not sure where they came from, but they got stuck in a small cage, all of them together with mom. That's why she wants to escape. <laughs> so, you know, they're just like, what the heck happened to our world? You know, it's, it's a huge, I'm gonna sit down so maybe you can see them a little better. Oh, I'm gonna get down here, oh boy, okay. So like I said, we got the two boys right here, and then the three girls, aren't they cute? Every one of them just, you know, just a little bit different. The two tabbies are both brown, but uh, the boy's a lot lighter. And then the solid black like mom, but this, but mom's got those golden eyes. Hello, and that is little, little Drew. Hi, little Drew. Cute tuxedo, little Gru, light brown tabby. Little um, Margo, solid black. Um, <laughs> pouncing Agnes. And then adorable little Edith, a little uh, darker brown tabby. So, um, <laughs> like I said, they're a little on the shy side. So when you come meet them, just kind of pick them up and hold them to you. And I think once I get into a home, and this is a good way to bond with them, with play toys, they seem to really like this one. Um, just bond with them with some toys and some wet food they love. Love, love, love wet food. And that's just a really good way to, to bond with them. But I would put them in a room, um, you know, just away from everything so they could get used to the new sounds and smells and everything of your home before you do, it's not really, it's not beneficial just to let them loose in a whole house because then they'll just run somewhere and hide. You'll never find them, they're so little. So they're probably about eight weeks old, um, maybe eight or nine weeks. And there, there's a little Margo. We can see her a little better now. Look how cute she is. So, and we have special rates. <laughs> You're like a little spaz <laughs> for adopting more than one. I think once they get into a home and they get more one-on-one, -on -one, because they're just here in a cage in a busy vet's office, so it's hard for the girls. They don't have time to socialize them, and I'm mostly here just to take pictures, so I don't have a lot of time either. Um, so they just need to get into a home. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>